When you hear the name Barbara Eden, it's hard not to think about her role as the hilarious and beautiful genie. It was a role that she played for five seasons and has been played over and over in syndicated reruns ever since. But before Jeannie, Barbara was a frequent guest star on many TV shows, so it should come as no surprise that Barbara, in the role of manicurist Ellen Brown, made a pit stop in Mayberry. And ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, what a memorable stop it was. But before we talk about Ellen Brown's visit to Mayberry, let's briefly revisit I Dream of Jeannie. Created by best-selling author Sidney Sheldon, I Dream of Jeannie cast Barbara as a 2,000-year-old genie and the future J.R. Ewing, Larry Hagman, as an astronaut who becomes her master with whom she falls head over heels in love. It originally aired on NBC and ran for 139 episodes throughout five seasons. It was NBC's answer to Bewitched, which ran on the competing ABC television network. At that time, American audiences were looking for escapist fare, anything to take their minds off the tumultuous events that were taking place in the world around them. I Dream of Jeannie and Bewitched did that. They were light-hearted shows, the characters were kind and good, and although chaos often ensued, for much of each episode by the end, there was always a happy ending. Another topic for another video on another day is the network's insistence that Barbara Eden cover her belly button at all times. For some reason, back then seeing someone's belly button, I guess, was considered fairly scandalous. Now let's get back to Ellen Brown's visit to Mayberry. It happened during Season 2, Episode 16. The title of the episode was simply The Manicurist. It turns out that Ellen, played by Barbara, lands in Mayberry purely on a whim. She's looking for a nice place, a friendly town, where she can get away and escape to ponder a marriage proposal. And Mayberry seems to fit the bill. While she's in Mayberry, she wants to continue to support herself in her chosen profession as a manicurist. Unfortunately, the shy men of Mayberry would rather gaze at her from afar, or better stated, a near, because she wants to work on commission from Floyd's barber shop. One quick side note about this episode is that the guy in the barber shop chair is Mayor Pike, played by veteran actor Dick Elliott. This episode would be his last due to the fact that he passed on about a month after this was filmed from a heart illness. There was never any acknowledgement of Mayor Pike's absence after his passing, despite the fact that he was in numerous episodes during the first two seasons. Ultimately, it's up to Andy to show the fine people of Mayberry that it's okay to have a manicure, even if you're a guy. And more importantly, by doing so, he demonstrates his willingness to accept this person into town. It's a town that's supposed to be a friendly town, or at least that's what the Mayberry sign proclaims. He also points out to the men that it isn't a bad thing to have a pretty girl hold your hand. I've got to admit, that is a really good argument. All in all, this is a fun episode. I don't want to share every plot point because... I want you to seek it out and watch it. The Andy Griffith Show airs on MeTV here in the U.S. Set your DVR and record it. Every episode is on Netflix. Go watch this one now. It's wonderful. If neither of those options work, I've got a link in the description field to Amazon where you can rent and or purchase this episode or all of them for a great price. In 2015, Barbara, at the age of 84, revisited her character of Ellen Brown when attending the annual Mayberry Days Festival. She said she looked back fondly on her time in Mayberry and talked about how much she truly enjoyed working with Andy Griffith and Don Knotts, both during the episode and later on. She also talked about the strong friendship that Andy and Don had. Her words, not mine, she said they were such great friends and that, after all these years, she was really attending the Mayberry Days Festival to honor these two fine gentlemen. So that's it. A big thank you to YouTuber Mr. Grandpa's Bakery. Yep, that's his username for the suggestion. Let me know what you think about this episode in the comments section below. And while you're at it, 
I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I'd be honored if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, as always, thank you for watching.